Hi everyone, I'm Rosie Gill again and I am, I'm interviewing Dr. Karp and he's from USDA from Washington DC and I really like his head, his funky head as well as tie with all the different names of different orders, right? So do you mind, I mean, can you tell me a little bit what you do and from where you get all those funky things? Well, absolutely. I, sure. I'm with the U.S. Department of Agriculture and we work with the insects that, uh, that are associated with uh, uh, all the things that man, are, man is interested in. And uh, uh, we work with the farmers, we work with home situations uh -huh. and uh, uh, all of the all the different things. Uh, our agency is a funding agency that provides some of the funding to do research, education, and extension across the country. And it is a fun job. Now the word funky, when you use that in regard to my hat, now what were you referring to? This is just a regular hat, isn't it? It, it is for entomological society. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. I'm yes, just it, like kidding. Yes. But you know, definitely I've got a problem. I've got a really big problem. Mm, really? Yeah, yeah. I gotta walk all the way back to the hotel with this hat yeah. on. Yes. No, it's really cold outside. That's good. So, for where did you get your tie? It's like well, that especially order or yes. It, well, I got it at one of the earlier entomological meetings. See, only entomologists would wear clothing like this. I know. Yes, but that's what's fun about it. Entomology yeah. is a profession that is so much fun, and I even have a motto. And the motto is, if it bugs you. It tickles me half to death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have never seen this tie with all those. Uh, it's it's amazing, and your head. I mean, like, awesome. Yeah. Do you wanna? I mean, do you have some hobbies out of entomology? I know you are a hobby like having different entomology cap and ties. You have well, some other hobbies or just yes, bugs? Everybody has. I like to tie fishing flies. Good. Yes, and you know what's even more fun than fishing uh -huh. is to go ahead and make them into earrings and give them to people as presents. Oh, you do that too? Yes. That's awesome. Well, you don't ex you don't interview people at art, do you? Yeah, no, yeah, you're the best people I interview. That's good. Wow, that's amazing. I love butterfly earrings and everything. Wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. So, well, and yeah. Now I gotta hop into a car and drive all the way back to Rockville, Maryland, because I gotta go to work pretty soon. Oh, yes, yes. So just the other job, but I don't wear this hat when yeah. I go to work with the USDA. Only yeah. around entomology. Around the entomology societies meetings. Yes. So, do you want to give any advice to future entomologists, graduate students? Like, you, I mean, you want to share something? Give want to give I'll some be advice? Very pleased to. I had I've worked in entomology for over forty years. Wow, it's a long time. You know what? Everything that I had to uh, every job that I had in entomology has been fun. And insects are the most remarkable creatures. Long after man is gone, insects are still going to be there. So yeah, uh, I can't think of anything. And the people here, you met a lot of the people here. Did they look like they were having fun at this meeting? Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. Everyone do. They all enjoy meeting friends, talks and everything. Yeah. Well, can you imagine working at something that's this much fun? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Dr. Cobb. Thank you so much for your time. I hope... You have, a, you have a good time here, and we'll see you at the next year meeting in San Diego. Well, Thank I, you. I, I, you will be, be here? Looking, I'll be looking for you, and bring your camera. Yeah. We'll do another interview. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, good. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Bye.